Morocco's confirmed COVID-19 cases have surpassed the 1,000 mark. The Ministry of Health says 11 new deaths from coronavirus complications were also reported on Tuesday, bringing the total number of fatalities to 80. Ten others had recovered, bringing that number to 81. The Ministry's Director of Epidemiology, Dr. Mohamed El Yubi, pointed out in a statement on television and radio nearly 4,000 suspected cases were excluded after they tested negative. The military hospital was erected in a record time of six days in the province of Nasur in the Casablanca Setat region. The new facility will cater to patients suffering from the new coronavirus. This new facility is in addition to that of Ben Slimen. It has a capacity of 200 beds and all the necessary facilities and equipment, particularly for the treatment of severe cases requiring intensive emergency care. The Kenyan government has extended its ban on international passenger flight for another 30 days. Transport Cabinet Secretary James Macharia also directed countries that want to evacuate their citizens to give a five-day notice to the government. He warned public service operators in the country to adhere to safety regulations or face dire consequences. Macharia said extension of the ban became necessary after serious consideration at the expiration on Sunday of the two-week ban. As before, cargo flights are still exempted but will be scrutinized. Macharia warned that public service vehicles that do not observe government hygiene standards risk having their vehicles impounded and licenses withdrawn. Prison visits have also been suspended for another 30 days. We'll be right back. Whether in your house, at your office, on your phone or online, we are there. We have the fact behind the headlines. We cut to the chase with the news you really need. We cover every angle. We are the bigger, better news network. We are African News Network. ANN. Watch ANN News on MITV from a truly African spirit. Botswana's president, Mogwetsi Masisi, says a six-month extension to the state of emergency in the country is needed because people are not complying with the restrictions on movement aimed at curtailing the spread of the new coronavirus. But critics are quick to express concern that such an extension would grant the president too much power. The country's parliament is debating today on the president's proposal. President Masisi had initially announced a 28-day lockdown period after recording the Botswana's first six coronavirus cases, including one death last week. The president holds absolute power in a state of emergency. Critics say such a move would endanger the country's democracy, but the president says he would respect the rule of law during the state of emergency. That is ANA News Brief at 10. For details on these and other breaking stories, visit our website, annafrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at ANN Africa TV. I'm Lucy Adeyemi.